Today we're going to be testing a 512 gig memory stick and two 128 gig micro SD cards to make sure that they are actually the capacity they say they are. Right, firstly, we have two SanDisk Ultra Micro SD XC SD cards. These are micro SD cards boasting a 128 gig memory. And that's two of them. I have two of those. And we also got a memory stick which has 512 gig and is a USB 3.0. If this actually is the memory it says it is, it's fantastic. Let's put the stick in the machine and see what it actually says for its capacity. So is a computer, yeah, removable disk H. Let's have a look. Removable disk H, 499 gigabytes. That sounds right. It sounds like even though we bought 512, 499 sounds correct. But what we can do to further check is go into properties and see what it says here. So here it says 499 gig as well. So that's fine. It still looks good, but I'm not happy with that. We have to take it a bit further to make sure it is as it says it is. So let's take some more steps. Right, let's type in disk management in the Windows bar, the common search area. Once we do that, we look for create and format hard disk partitions. Click that and then a box will come up. In this box, we will search for the offending drive, which is removable disk H. Make sure it's the removable disk H, which we will see. So if you look for it here, we can see it also shows us 499. So it's showing us what we want to see at the moment. So it all looks good at the moment. It looks healthy, healthy and active. So that seems to be okay in disk management too. Looking for software which will corroborate what we've just seen. There's a list of software which you can use there's plenty of different softwares which can check the flash drives and USB drives. Well, this is what they claim. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. So we just have to try and see which ones we can use. I've seen this one used before. Fake flash test. I've seen that one used before. I don't like the fact that when I see software, there's spelling mistakes in it. It just it just kind of sets me off a bit. So I would not use something which I see spelling mistakes in. It just means that I don't know. I just don't like it anyway. But let's use fake flash test for now. I think the password is fake as it shows. Always check zip drives to make sure there's no viruses. Type in the password and then it will come up. So look for your offending drive again, which is H. Click quick test or quick size test is destructive. So that means that if you have anything on your drive, it will be deleted. So make sure there's nothing on the drive that you want. Now let's start. This might take a while. Just a quick look at these drives can determine whether they're USB 1, 2 or 3. They're all color coded. That bit inside there, that will determine which one is which. White is for 1, black is for 2 and blue is for 3. It's as simple as that. So if someone says they're selling a USB free SD card or a flash drive just simply look inside that part 
just look inside it and you can just see almost immediately whether it is a three, two or one. Now armed with that information, we can look at this drive a bit more carefully and see that it is not blue. This is actually black. So it has been advertised as a USB three, but this is a USB two going on the colors that we've just determined. To give the advertiser the benefit of the doubt, let's do an actual speed test using data, just in case they run out of blue plastic. Anyway, I've given it a 64% head start, but look at the difference, come on. Look at that. After a 60 odd percent head start, it's still, it's look, it's running at 12 megabytes per second. So it's definitely not a USB free. My least favorite way of testing a drive is actually physically data dumping. So we're actually just gonna physically try and drop 120 gig or whatever the amount, the capacity they say it is. That's what we're going to try and dump on the, on the actual drive. So it's going on right now. It's happening. I've, I've, I'm trying to drop about 200 gig on it and we know that it's running slow anyway, but let's see how it goes, whether it can actually handle such capacity. I've had to give this up because it just is not doing anything. It's definitely not the capacity it says it is. It's not being able to do anything. It's ridiculous. I've had to cancel this off. So I can safely say this is not as advertised. It's not boasting 512 gig. It can't even copy a hundred gig. And let's just leave it there. So the same test was done with the other two SD cards and they actually worked. They were as advertised, which is great. But two out of three is not bad, but you should be getting exactly what you paid for. So that one's going back and hopefully you will have learnt something from this video. Merely just looking at the actual physical drive, you can actually see whether it's a USB three or USB two. And then when you get it, if you follow one or even all of the procedures, which I showed you, you should be on the right track. Thanks for listening. And I hope you've learned something from this video. It would help me a lot if you can actually subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that greatly. Thank you.